Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. We are back reacting to a new series, kind of. It's more of an anthology series, but this is Star Wars Visions. And we are here going to be reacting to episode one. It's called The Duel. Uh, now, if you are unfamiliar with what Star Wars Visions is, it is a uh, series of nine anthology Star Wars anime episodes, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I believe this is kind of the first time that Star Wars and anime have really crossed over, in a sense, at least officially, like canon-wise. Except, uh, except none of these, I believe none of these are canon, so scratch that last statement. Um, but, like, but they're, they're, like, official, they're, like, sanctioned <laughs> by, by Disney or whatever, right? So... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of anime, and I am a big fan of Star Wars, so I'm super pumped to check these out. And they're only like 15 minutes to 20 minutes each, so uh, I can pretty pretty much move right through them. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, before we jump into it, please consider leaving a like on the video. It means a ton to me. Please consider subscribing. That means a ton as well. Uh, and if you are interested in the full-length reaction to this episode, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll actually be posting the first episode free for anyone to check out um, so you can see if that's something you're interested in moving forward. Um, also on my Patreon, you can become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. But other than that, let's jump into it. I think this first episode is the one that I was most excited to see. It's like the all black and white one. Kamikaze Duga presents the duel. That's like such an iconic Star Wars opening shot is just like fade into a shot of the stars. Oh, it's got the old like film grain look to it. Like, like this is old school, like Japanese samurai cinema. I really like how just there's very few colors used and it's just like for certain individual aspects of it like the lights and probably the lightsabers okay these guys obviously don't like them That's a Sith, 100%. <laughs> the last remnants of the war, willing to take whatever they want. Okay, well that's rude. You shouldn't do that. Thanks <laughs> for the warm welcome. Give us your goods. It's time for you to pay your taxes. I recognize this guy's voice. He, he's been in a lot of anime. I am the current chief. And you take it enough! It's just a little kid. God dang, son. Ooh, this is um one of those droids. It just looks so cool. Dang, we're wearing heels. <clears throat> Is this the umbrella person? With like the 10 lightsabers? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's so cool. Don't give her a chance to strike. I mean, Jedi's were pretty much based off of like samurais, you know, in a sense. So, telling a samurai story right here with uh, with the Jedi is very fitting. Oh, that was dirty. 
God dang. You don't look like one of the villagers who dares face me. What if he didn't even have a lightsaber? <laughs> He's just awesome. Oh, that's so dirty. What? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe he's not a Jedi, he's just another Sith. Your lightsaber blade is red. He's just mad that you broke his droid. I am not a Jedi. Wow. Fancy. <laughs> he's just he's legitimately just pissed off that uh she interrupted his, like, tea drinking. <sighs> the sounds are beautiful. Why does he need his droid operational, though? Like, is his droid, like, good at stuff? Just his, uh, his droid got secret abilities, but to straight clap all these people. <laughs> what is going on? God dang, man. The droid is top shelf. That's sick. From behind the waterfall. It's so dirty. He's got to get clapped. Or maybe he didn't have to. He said, uh, was that one already there? Need a burrito. Dude's top shelf. For your troubles. What is he gonna do with that? <laughs> He's like here. Oh no, he just collects these crystals. Does he just hunt down Sith? Here, you can have this one. <laughs> So he's not a Jedi, and he is possibly not a Sith either. He's just killed a lot of Sith. <laughs> that was fun. That was actually so dope. Okay. Okay, that was fun. Uh, yeah, almost exactly what I expected in terms of uh, an anime Star Wars crossover. So I like how they told just like a very classic like samurai ronin type defend a village story. You know, that's that's like quintessential uh, to that genre. Um, we had a, something similar in The Mandalorian, um, I believe season one. Um, I think, 
Maybe, yeah. Season one, um, when they go to that one village and they, they help train the villagers and, and defend against the Empire. This is just a just a dude, <laughs> just a passing traveler um, who happens to be very skilled in the Force. He's not necessarily a Jedi. Uh, he's not necessarily a Sith either, I don't think. Um, he is just particularly skilled in killing Sith. Um, as evidenced by his many kyber crystals that he has claimed from them. Um, but he's just in this village drinking tea, man. He's just chilling. And he is like, you know what? These dumb bandits came in and they disrupted my tea drinking. You know, once the Sith showed herself. And by the way, the, she had a dope lightsaber set up. <laughs> like, like, she had a standard lightsaber, but she had... um and like, like an umbrella add-on, right? So like, you know how um, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, like it, it forks off to the side as well because of the, like the structure of of the, the hilt or whatever it is. Like hers, she like plugs in her lightsaber to this umbrella thing and the, then the beams continue out through the little umbrella holes and it's like dope. You know, that was super cool. I, I really enjoyed seeing just the combat of this episode, how anime can really get into it with combat. Like, anime anime will give you some of the most hype, sickest things you've ever seen in your life during combat, and it's just, like, brilliant. And couple that with Star Wars, it's mm, mwah, very good. Um, I really enjoyed the art style of this episode as well, just the the old school black and white with a sparing use of color and then the old school like film grain on top of it uh was very reminiscent of like old 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 school like japanese samurai films uh if you've ever played the game ghost of tsushima there's a mode you can turn on that like turns it to look like that which is really really cool um more of like a novelty thing i turned it on for a little bit when i played but otherwise i played you know normal style <laughs> Um, I thought the voice cast was also pretty good. Like I didn't, I didn't pick up any voices that I thought were kind of like phoned in or anything like that. Um, the one of the bandits was a, a pr I don't remember, I don't remember the guy's name, but he's like a very recognizable anime voice. He's been in plenty of anime before. Like uh, if if you watch a few anime shows here and there, you will hear that guy's voice at some point. <laughs> um, but no, as, as, as a first episode as a whole, I really, really enjoyed this. This was fun. Just a nice self-contained story. I wonder if, you know, I know all these are going to be like anthology episodes, so they're, so they're not connected to each other. But it would be really cool if like, if they did like a season two of this show down the road, maybe. It would be kind of cool to maybe see some of these characters' stories um, kind of carried forward, right? Like, um... I want to I, I want to know what's gonna happen with that Ronin dude like I want to know what like what's his deal man why is he killing all these Sith like why what's his motivation behind that where is he going next I, I want to know more about that character and the droid and the journey that they're on like that oh so cool I want to see more of it so uh if they did do like a season two of this show that would be really really cool to maybe see some of those storylines continued. Um, and I know these aren't technically canon, but it would also be pretty cool if like, if Disney uh, slash Star Wars kind of looked at this series and they gauged maybe some of the fan reception to certain episodes and they're like, oh, people really like that episode or they really like that episode. Maybe they don't like that episode as much or it contradicts with some other stuff. It would be cool if they could look at that and be like, okay, we have retroactively now decided that this first episode is is canon and this character is now canon within the star wars universe that would be really cool i mean i doubt that they do that but i mean you know i don't know if they've like made i don't know if they've gone back to to things that weren't canon and kind of like made them canon they've kind of just like reintroduced them if that makes sense so uh, i don't think they would just like retroactively be like hey maybe that's canon now but who knows? That would be really cool if they did. Um, yeah, overall, it was a, it was a short episode, but a you know self-contained little fifteen-minute anime episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Big fan. Uh, I can't wait to see the other eight episodes, and they're all pretty short, so I should be able to get 
get through them all fairly quickly. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode down below. Um, were you a fan of, of the style? If you're, if you're new to anime, what did you think? If you're new to Star Wars, what did you think? Um, yeah, let me know all your thoughts down below. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video. It means a ton to me. It helps my channel out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more reactions to Star Wars Visions or any other show that I'm watching on the channel. And then if the full-length reaction to this is something that interests you, consider supporting me on Patreon. I post all my full uncut reactions in watch-along format, so you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. This first episode will be public to anyone, so you can check it out and see if that's something you're interested in going forward. There, you can also become a super supporter and get featured in every single one of my videos. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.